Okay, good morning and welcome to today's meeting of the Committee on Finance. I'm Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. We are joined by Councilmembers Koslowitz, Gibson, Grudenchik, Dharma Diaz, Adams, Ayala, Matteo, Rosenthal, Amphrey Samuel, Van Bramer, and Powers. Today the committee will be voting on three items, a transparency resolution and two Article 11 property tax exemptions. Let's begin with the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the de designation of certain organizations receiving local aging, anti-poverty, and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcommittee, before the subcontractor can be approved. Disclosure forms must be completed and submitted prior to the vote on the transparency resolution and may be given or emailed to Chuck Davis. Members of the General Counsel's Office are here to assist you if you have any questions regarding the disclosures. Next, we have two land use items. The first is Little Italy Restoration Apartments in Council Member Chin's district. This action will provide a partial 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 152 units of affordable rental housing. Council Member Chin is supportive of this exemption. The second is Manhattan Beach Housing in Council District 48. This action would provide a partial 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to preserve 150 units of affordable rental housing. Okay, and with that, are there any questions on any items on the agenda? If not, I'm going to ask uh, Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the finance committee roll. Mr. Clerk. Yes. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote, committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Koslowitz. Aye. Councilmember Koslowitz votes aye. Van Bramer. Councilmember Van Bramer votes aye. Councilmember Gibson. Good morning, colleagues. I vote aye. Thank you. Rosenthal. I vote aye um, and am recusing myself uh, on anything having to do with the Alliance Against Sexual Assault. Thank you. Grodenchik. Aye. Grodenchik votes aye. Adams. I vote aye. Thank you. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Powers. I vote aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Matteo. Councilmember Matteo votes aye by a vote of, excuse me, by a vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, we're gonna hold the vote open for maybe about another 10 minutes or so, but we do have a very busy schedule today. So hopefully the other members will get here and uh, then we'll move on from there. Thank you, everybody.